Also breaking news from the University of Cincinnati. We have just learned that the women's basketball team and the football team have violated NCAA recruiting rules. Nine Sports anchor Dennis Jansen is here now with details. DJ? Carolyn Clyde, this might explain why departed athletic director Mike Thomas had long sought work elsewhere, but that aside, it's not like UC was buying cars for recruits. They simply took the high road when they discovered an assistant women's basketball coach had made hundreds of impermissible recruiting calls. A couple football assistants were responsible for 20 more. Shortly after an audit discovered the determined dialers, as we'll call them, they contacted the NCAA and told them what had happened. Late 2010, we actually uh, implemented a new telephone monitoring system, really at the suggestion of our, our compliance office to make the process of monitoring telephone calls uh, a little bit easier than the old manual process. Upon doing that, we discovered that during that period of time, there were actually 504 phone calls that came out as being flagged as impermissible. And of the 504, 448 of those calls actually could be attributed to one assistant coach. Boy, and a very busy assistant coach. The NCAA has accepted the university's self-prescribed two-year probation on the women's basketball team. They have fired the assistant, and they have it, this includes rec uh, restrictions on recruiting, as you might figure. Uh, football assistants' telephone contacts will also be limited with recruits. We'll have much more coming up at 620. Carol? All right. Thanks a lot, Denny. All